right, equals G M C R. Yeah? So this times this is this times this. And then what's our next step? Divide, right? What are we trying to get all by itself? I'm trying to get V by itself, right? So I'm going to divide both sides by R squared, correct? There we go. And then I are going to cancel something on this side, right? <laughs> and then what's the next thing? What do we have to do? Cube root, square root, or no root? Yeah, we've got to do like we got to do square root, right? Okay. So v is going to equal the square root of this whole thing, right? And it ends up being g m over r, right? So write it down. That's a good thing to write down, right? Okay. Associated with this guy, v is the square root of g m over r. Which mass is it? Is it the satellite's mass or is it the central body's mass? Central body's mass, because the satellite mass always cancels. You won't believe how many people want to give you the both masses on a test to use the satellite's mass. Sad, really. Okay. Now, how do we type this into our calculator? Yeah, I know. It's like it's crazy, right? Okay. So write this down. Write this example down. Okay. So v is the square root of gm over r. That's going to look like the square root, left parenthesis, right? 6.67 times, ergo, e, negative 11 times, and then this is the earth, right? So 5.97 e 24 divided by, and then what's our thing here? It's 6.78225 E6, right parenthesis, and we've got it, right? When it's at an elevation of 250 miles, its velocity is square root of 6.67 E minus 11. Does anybody have a TI-86? Matthew Sahibi, lift your head up off the, off the desk. Pay attention. Take notes. Take your calculator and try this. I want you touching your calculator. I want you to feel the keys under your fingers. I don't know what they do. They must go to like the bathroom a lot. Seven eight two two five E six. I'm getting seven six six two meters per second. Is that what you guys get? AJ, I need you to try this too. I need every man, woman, and child to type this in correctly into their calculator and get the answer. Yeah? Not so much. You can use this one though. Does it have scientific notation in parentheses? All right. So it's square root of 6.67. Second function, that drives me up a wallet. It's a second function. You use it all the time. A comma, I need comma more than I need EE. -E. No, I don't think so. What is it, 6.78225? Is that what it was? That. There you go. How's that? Uh, I know. Is that very fast? Multiply that by two point two three seven. That'll give you miles per hour. Is that seventeen thousand miles per hour? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
To get miles per hour, you never do that, but are we good on this? So, yeah, I'm going to show you some other stuff. Let's do some more solutions. Okay, so uh, concept zero, 17,000 miles per hour is darn fast. The only way you can do that, of course, is that there's no air. Because if you ran into air, if you ran into air that fast, you would burn up. And this is what happened to the Columbia, was that when they hit the air, they used the air to slow themselves down. And it got fiery hot, and there was a hole in the, the heat shield, and that burned up the inside of the airplane, which was not as heat resistant, right? It burned up the inside of the shuttle. So that's crazy. Back in the day, um, there was this whole notion that we were going to have these uh, satellites that could shoot down Soviet uh, missiles. And any scientist that really knew what they were talking about knew that that was kind of a bunch of hooey because basically to destroy a space station that's going 17,000 miles per hour, I mean, they're incredibly vulnerable to space junk. And that's why they're you know, way the heck out there, right? Um, well, all you have to do, if, you've, if, if the Soviets put a you know, multi-billion dollar platform to shoot down my missiles, I'm just going to go to Lowe's, buy a bag of pea gravel and put a hand grenade in it that's got like a little remote control, right? And I'll put it in reverse orbit so that it's going 17,000 miles per hour the other way around the Earth in roughly the same orbit. And then when I want their space station to not be there, I'll just explode that pea gravel across their orbital trajectory and at, they, they will collide. The little bits of gravel will collide at 34,000 miles per hour, right? This will burn like fiery little holes all the way through their billion dollar thing and it won't work, yeah? So they, when the space shuttle's up there, they're like steering around space junk. There's ground-based radar that tracks space junk. And if there's places where they lost a lot of things or whatever, just, you know, things left over from other missions, they steer the shuttle up and around and it's, you know, it's pretty dodgy stuff. It would hurt, when you're riding a motorcycle, a bumblebee hurts at 60 miles per hour. So a little bitty rock at, or a bolt or something left over from some other mission at 17,000 miles per hour. I think it would just burn a little fiery hole right through you my guess. Okay, so let's, um, while, we're, while we're looking at this same one here, I've left room, what else can we solve for in this expression? What else might we have to solve for? Well, we already solved for V, how about R? We might have to solve for R, right? So let's do that, right? What, what's our first step is cross multiply, right? So V squared, R squared, equals GMC times R, right? And then to solve for R, what do we do? I know, it's like, we've got to get R by itself. I guess we can just cross off. We can divide by V squared, right? And divide by R, can we? And then we get R on this side, don't we? And no R there. So it's, the, and then we don't need to square root, right? We raise it to the one or, you know, the one power, right? Okay, so this is R is equal to GMC over V squared, right? And then your calculator, this would be really simple. This would be 6.67 E negative 11 times whatever it is, right? The planet mass. I'm just going to say planet mass or central body mass, central mass. Right, divided by the velocity squared. That's easy, right? And what else we, what might we solve for the mass? Yeah, I bet you would, right? Okay, what's our first step? Well, same thing, V squared R squared is GMCR. What do we do now to get R or get MC by itself? Uh, divide by GR. GR, divide by GER, right? All right, that makes them go away, doesn't it? So don't we end up with V squared R over G, is that right? Let me know, because people are writing these down in their, their cheat sheets. So let me know if I made a mistake. Is this right? This, is, this, this looks right, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, MC is, is uh, V squared R over G, right? So that's going to look like velocity squared times radius divided by 